Hey folks, Lindsey Huddleston back in the building, another SBS mental health moment. This is a Gold Lake takeover. I've had Coach Brian Dutton, uh, Caleb Taylor, and now I have Zach Collard uh, sitting down with me to kind of discuss uh, what's been going on. How you doing today, Zach? I'm good. Good, man. Thank you for being available. Thank you for being available. Zach is 6'7", and uh, what year is this for you now? Uh, I'm a junior right now to be senior next year. Rising senior. So you and Caleb are going to uh, walk out there together. You'll do like a Michigan State Spartan kiss to uh, Spartan at the end? you kiss <laughs> you walk out? Maybe. Maybe. I shouldn't say that. I know your coach doesn't. He likes to wear that Michigan gear. So I know that's gotten him going. But anyway, man, it's uh, nice to meet you. You guys had a really uh, epic run this season. Talk about what the season mm. has been like for you. Uh, I thought we had, we had a lot of potential, especially we made it to the district championship. It was definitely hard not being able to even play in that game. We were going to, probably going to go up against a tough team, but I think we definitely had the potential to beat them. So it was hard just not even being able to have that opportunity. Yeah, who are you going to be matched up against? Uh, Coldwater. Oh, well, that's right. Your coach told me about that too. Yeah, so what was it like when you guys got the call? I mean, how did you feel? <laughs> Uh, I was pretty disappointed because we work all season for the playoffs and then it was just all over. Yeah, as challenging as the COVID-19 is, especially as it relates to the loss of life and the other impact it's having, you know, I guess it's one of, this is one of your biggest life lessons early on, huh? Yeah, yeah. definitely. I get that. So talk about that big game you guys had against Kalamazoo Central. It was a barn burner, no doubt. You went to overtime. Uh, Caleb. Uh, finished with a last second three pointer uh, to take you from a tie uh, to go ahead three pointer to win, but you had a huge shot to take you guys into overtime. Sometimes people disregard what got you there. So talk about what that was like uh, at the end of regulation and the last play you were involved in. Uh, that was Zach Pike, yeah. different Zach. Oh, it was a different Zach. My bad. Oh man, you can't have two Zachs on the team, man. That confused me, man. Okay, but yeah. he still. That was huge. What was it like, kind of watching that go down? Uh, it was, it was impressive. I, I thought it was almost over, and then he got it, and it just went in. Yeah, it, it was, went in. Okay, okay. Well, good. Were you able to cheer your team on, man? So tell me, uh, watching the last dance, that documentary, what has that meant for you? Watching Michael Jordan and learning more about him. I think it's just uh, cool to see like how hard he was on his team. So, like, because he knew they could win and be, like, great. And also, like, how he was talking about how he never made his team do anything that he didn't do himself. That inspires you, huh, to kind of be that kind of leader? Yeah. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. So what's something that um, maybe only your teammates know that a lot of people don't know about you? Uh... I don't, maybe that I'm really sm like school smart, but not off the out of school. I'm not as my common sense is less. <laughs> <laughs> so you you see you're a bookworm, but uh, you got to learn a little bit more about the world, huh? Yeah. That's okay. That's okay. A good person will always get through, man. A good guy will always get through. No, man, I appreciate you sitting down and sharing. You know, uh, talk about uh, what it means to play. For Coach Dutton, what does it mean to be part of the Gold Lake family? Talk about what that means to you. Uh, well, Coach Dutton, he is the most committed coach I've ever been a part of. He is always pushing and keeping everyone communicated to try to be the best program out there. And I think that just to bring our uh, basketball team to the next level, we, we just need to be one team, play together. And I think that's a little bit what we saw in the Kalamazoo Central game across like all the starters had like over 10 points and everyone was contributing so it was cool to see oh really cool so what is it like man you went up against that Kalamazoo Central team before and you lost but then to be able to come back and uh, get that victory you know uh did you guys always feel that you can beat them yeah I think that was one that we we didn't we the first time I think we walked in there thinking you know we're probably we're gonna lose and the second time we saw them and we held with them the first game in the first half and then the one kid like kind of caught fire but so we knew we could play with them I think that was a, like a big part of our success yeah and watching that uh game uh the final game against Kalamazoo Central I mean you had a lot of support there what's the fans experience like at goal like with, with at the home game 
uh, we always have the little Gleba kids, and that's cool to see them looking up at us. And then all we usually have all our parents there, which is nice to like have lots of support. Yeah. What does it mean, and how does it feel to be a high school player and you have people younger than you looking up to? I think it's it's like it's because like when I was younger, I feel like I looked up to them like, oh, they're so big and they're good. And then now that's kind of what they're doing. And it's um, nice to see that. Yeah. See, you're the, good, you're the good person now. Yeah. Does that make you be mindful of your behavior because you got so many young people looking up to you? Yeah, definitely. 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 Okay. Okay. So uh, what have you been doing during this uh, lockdown to kind of stay focused on your goals with basketball? Well, uh, Coach Dunn's got us doing workouts, and I've been running to stay in shape. You're doing everything doing you need to do. school work. Well, that's good that you're staying on top of things and uh, you're keeping it together. So when you're done with your senior year, what are your goals uh, going forward as it relates to, first of all, the kind of senior year you want to have and what you want to do after being at Gold Lake? Uh, right now, my goal is probably to go to Michigan. but not play basketball, but might change. I'm not sure yet. Okay, okay. So I guess that uh, Coach Dutton wearing those Michigan shirts uh, had an influence on you too, huh? Yeah, <laughs> I'd be uh, like fourth generation. Oh, man, it goes through and through. I understand, I understand. Well, me telling you to kiss the uh, Spartan was just a reference. It didn't mean you had to go green, <laughs> but that's cool. Well, listen, before we get out of here, man, I appreciate your time. What inspirational message can you give? You already talked about those young uh, players looking up to you, but what inspirational message can you give to the Gold Lake community, uh, to everyone around as far as how we can get through this COVID-19 and uh, be ready for some normalcy in the future? I think you just got to keep working in the off season, especially even with if this COVID keeps it longer than it usually would be. Try to keep getting better at your house. Even like every person has different limitations, but do what you can to keep getting better and staying in shape. All right, all right. Well, that's good advice. We got Zach Collard here, uh, and uh, I think you're gonna have a great future. And I look forward to the chance to get out and seeing you guys uh, playing some more when that season resumes. Okay. All right. Thank you for having me. All right. You're welcome. Best of luck to you. All right.